Many times your pain is your best friend and it's here to help you and protect you. And yes, many times you need to do the distinction between chronic pain and acute pain. So if let's say now someone broke their hand, their pain is their best friend. It's coming to protect them. It's telling you, hey, I have pain, go and take care of the hand or any other acute pain, okay? Something that just now happened to you. Someone closed the door on your finger, open the door, go take care of your finger. But then there's chronic pain. And when you have chronic pain, which usually that's pain that it's between three to six months. So in that case, not only that the pain means nothing, nothing about any damage in your body. You know, your body, most of the times when you have chronic pain, functionally, you're doing amazing, okay? Structurally, you're doing good. Your body is not damaged. The fact you're having pain, it doesn't mean that your body is damaged. Your pain is here to give you a message. Now, if you're telling yourself, wait, so if, if there's no damage, I'll just continue having the pain, how, how can that be? So yes, that could be, but before we'll talk about how you take care of chronic pain, you need to understand the fact that there's no damage in your body, it doesn't mean that you could just live with it and not take care of it. Because you, you would really have pain. The pain comes from the brain, from your mind. You need to understand that the pain comes Yes, a third from your body and another third from a different part, another third for another one, we'll talk about that. But the pain comes from your mind. Enjoy your coffee if you have one. Anyways, if now you have pain and your body is healed, okay, you have chronic pain, your body is healed, but the pain comes third from the body, okay? Basically, it's your brain sending signals that you need to have pain. Why? Because you just broke your hand. But now you broke your hand three months ago. Why do you still have pain? Your body healed. It's because third of the pain comes, the, the brain sends it through the body. Another third is through your emotions. Emotions that want to come up, but maybe, you know, the mind's too afraid that you can't deal with it. So it sends pain, it sends a disease. And another third is cognitive. We'll talk about all three of them, those three sources of the pain. Now, I'm not a doctor, as you know but I did deal and still dealing with chronic pain, thank God, doing much better. As uh, much of you know, I was injured in the war. So during the injury, you know, you get injured, something happens to you. Yes, that's acute pain, but then when the pain stays there, it turns into chronic. So what I'm sharing with you is actually out of practice, uh, still practicing, uh, and I have to say that it's, it's helping me, so I'm also, I have a belief that would help you. I also practice a lot, and I also read a lot on the subject, but again, you'll need to do the work, <laughs> not me. I'll do it for myself, you do it for you. So back to the pain. Understanding that pain, basically, it's not happening, okay, from, from your body. It's happening from signals that your mind is sending, that your brain is sending to protect you. Because like we said, if something happens to you now, pain is the best protector. It's a friend, okay? And it's coming to help you and to make sure that you'll feel better. But what happens that if you still have pain, okay? And your body healed already, so how, how could that be? So what basically happens is that, as we said at the beginning, you need first to work on the physical part. So the first third of the pain is the physical part. Now, at that stage, yes, maybe there's something that we call that acute pain. Maybe there's something that is wrong with your body, some type of, some type of structural issue and you got hurt, so let's say a friend of mine got into a car accident. Yes, he did physiotherapy, yes, he did different type of therapies that would help him. Some people go to the pool and swim, each person does their own therapy, okay? But that's a physical therapy. You can't say, you know, it's just your mind. No, you just got hurt. So you do that. With that said, your body is strong. Your body is much more strong than you think it is. And if you do the work, your body will, he will heal. But since the pain doesn't come from the body, it comes from your brain, from your mind. So what basically happens is that your mind says, wait, wait, be careful. You remember after you did that accident or after you got hit playing ball, sport, whatever it is, if you moved your arm, it means pain. So now every time you move your arm like that, that would be pain. I have a friend that also, you know, he got injured and he told me, listen, Yair, I healed my body healed but every time I moved my arm I had pain even though I healed already. You know what's crazy or amazing depends how you look at it your pain now is not coming from something that actually happened to you right now 
your pain is coming from your brain's memory. So like I said, maybe in the past when whatever it is that happened to you, accident, injury, whatever it is, so when you moved your hand, that meant that it's painful. So now even though you you're, you healed, you're feeling much better physically, again, you did the physical work to heal, your brain is sending a signal that, wait, this means pain. So a lot of your pain, or even maybe most of all of it, is coming from your memory, from, from your brain's memory. Your brain is here to protect you, and it remembers based on the past that when you do like that, that means pain, or whatever pain it is that you have. So it has that memory that when you, whatever you do, that type of, you know, move, so you have pain. So what you need to do is basically reframe, okay? Reframe that move and tell your brain, okay, hey, I'm doing now like that. Again, whatever the move that causes you the pain, now I'm fine, I'm doing good. You don't need to come and protect me anymore. So you're basically coming and talking to your brain, okay? And you're explaining to it that you're doing fine, you're doing good, and not, not out of a place of anger, because like I said, your brain and your pain, they're here to protect you. You just need to explain to them. Yes, in the past when I did that type of move that caused damage, now, and, and that's why you brought the pain because you didn't want me to do damage to myself. Now when I do that type of move, sit, move, whatever it is, it's not causing damage and it's fine. You don't need to send that pain to me. So you, you, you speak to your pain and to your brain. I, many times you could also give your pain a name and say, hey, thank you for coming to visit. I know you're here to protect me because you think that caused damage. Not anymore, okay? So you literally talk and you reframe, okay? The, uh, I think we spoke about the PRT, S same, same concept. You reframe the meaning of that move, the meaning of that act, and you say, okay, I'm doing fine, I'm good, and slowly the brain won't send the pain to come and visit you because it will understand that you're doing fine. In addition to that, in many different areas of life, our brain protects us through whatever experiences we had in the past. So now we're speaking about pain, but it could also be in your relationship, in business, based on past experiences, your brain will come and create your future. So if you didn't have good experiences, and we won't talk about that now, but just saying, if you didn't have good experiences, whether it's in your relationship, in your business, and now you're programmed through those past experiences, so maybe try to reframe your experience, change the way you look at things, there's a saying, when you change the way you look at something, what you look at changes. So just put that in your mind for also different areas of life. We'll go back talking about the pain. It doesn't matter if your pain is in your neck and your lower back, which many people have, and if your pain is in your feet. The pain after you did the healing, and just do the work, okay? Trust yourself, trust your body. The pain now comes might come from a, an emotional issue that you have, or from cognitive. There's a famous therapy that is called... Uh, P PRT, okay, that basically through reframing the meaning you give to the pain and you talk to the pain as, as your friend, people actually hear from, heal from chronic pain that they had for years. So I could tell you that, for example, in my case, I gave the pain, I gave it a name. Why did I give it a name? Because that means the pain is not me, it's basically something that is coming through me. The second you identify with your pain is you, so you basically, you leave it in you. And when I have pain, okay, I went dancing and I started having pain. And I was just talking to my body and I continued to dance and then I felt it less. I will be totally honest, after a while, I really felt the pain coming hard. And I told the pain, I said, listen, and I, you might think this is crazy, but so many people heal from chronic pain like that by reframing the pain. And I told it, listen, I understand that you still didn't like, I, I just basically spoke to the mind, to the pain, and I said, I guess you didn't understand yet that, you know, I healed and that I appreciate you for coming. So when you talk to your pain, you don't talk out of a place of anger. No, it's your friend. Okay, so I told the pain, I appreciate you for coming because you're here to protect me. And that's beautiful. With that said, thank God I healed. I'm feeling better and I could move. You're right. At the beginning, I couldn't move. I couldn't dance. I couldn't sleep. I had so much pain, but now I'm doing better. So you could let go and continue. Now there are times, like I said, that it helps and it is, I breathe into the pain and talk to it. And there are times when I take it to the extreme and the, you know, the mind still doesn't understand that I can do that. But with time, it would understand that more and more. 
I'll give you an example, okay? So let's say if, did you ever go on a fast? Uh, a few days fast, so the first day, it's kind of challenging, especially like at the middle of the first day, beginning second day, you're really, 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 really hungry. <laughs> but then after that, you kind of, you know, you're doing fine. You just drink water, tea, and actually you're doing pretty good. Same thing over here, when you explain enough times to your mind and to your pain that you're fine and you're doing good and you're strong, so you'll see that the pain eventually leaves you. So as we said, we said there's the physical part, we just now spoke about the cognitive part and you know some people call that PRT, <clears throat> we'll go to that type of therapy. It's I think PRT is pain reprocessing therapy, you basically, you or yeah, reprocessing or reframing. But the, the bottom line is that basically you give different meaning to the pain. When you have pain, okay, when I was sitting down, I had the pain. I told myself, okay, I could stay sitting down. The, the pain might be here, but it's doing no damage to my body. My body's stronger. And then eventually, you know, your mind gets that, that signal and the pain slowly disappears. Now, you might tell yourself, wait, but you spoke about the physical part, the cognitive part of reframing, of understanding the meaning, and we'll go back to that in a second. But the third part is the emotional part. It's like, wait, how, how do I take care of that? Like, <laughs> we're human beings and we have so many things going inside, whether it's from whatever we're going through now or from our childhood. And, you know, so, much, so many is also subconscious, unconscious. And then we might tell ourselves, how, how can I, you know, have a solution for all of that? So the good news, you don't need a solution for all that, but you need to be aware that there's some type of emotion that is trying to come up okay pain it's could be much more has to do with an emotional part of you than something physical so some type of emotion is co co trying to come up and you know there are many great doctors uh i think his name is dr sarno that speaks about that a lot and again m many different doctors that speak about it and some type of emotion is trying to come up and since you know your mind thinks that you can't deal with it so it's kind of it's doing a detour in your mind distracting you and bringing up some type of pain or some type of disease. So you might not know what is that emotion that is coming up, what is that thing you know in your conscious or subconscious that you're trying to figure out. But as long as you are aware that there's something that you need to take care of, something that you need to deal and you're in the process, you're aware of it, you understand first that the pain comes from there. You need to have that understanding, okay, that the pain comes from there. After you have that understanding, just try to be aware of what it is that comes up. But that means the emotion. It doesn't mean that you'll figure out everything because as long as we're here and we're alive, we'll need to work on certain areas inside and outside ourselves. Okay, that's life. Welcome. And the more you work on them, you appreciate them more. So just be aware that there are things you need to work on. If there's something, if you listen inside, you, you, you listen, you feel that there's something over there that you need to work on. And if you might tell yourself, what are you talking about? Like listen inside, feel. Okay, you could also look at it in a different way. Is there something in life that you feel you need to change or want to change? Is there something that was bothering you in the past or in, or in the present? And again, all of that is just, is just being aware, understanding that, you know, pain comes also from an emotional part. Now, I wanna go back to the cognitive part. Just I'll have some of my coffee. Understand that pain is your friend, okay? You must do that reframing in order to heal your chronic pain. It's really, really important. So you'll see many times, you know, let's say, let's say someone does some type of exercise and then like they feel this pain, like they go, you know, they do that face, like you see that face of pain, that expression. So try next time you have pain to smile, okay? You have pain, smile at the pain, have a big smile on your face. Why is that? Because when you do that expression of like pain, wow, I can't move, man, it's terrible, wow, like that's, it's not helping you because you're basically sending a signal that that pain is actually damaging your body and it's not, okay? If you did the work and you have already the pain for more than three to six months, a lot of it is chronic. So reframe that experience of pain, okay? Put a smile on your face think why is the pain coming okay the pain is here to give you a message the pain is your friend again acute pain it's your friend and it's here to protect you to, to protect your body and that's something different go and do the work the physical work to heal yourself 
And again, also over there, also in acute pain, the pain is your friend. It's a protecting mechanism. But in chronic pain, it's also your friend, but usually the message is a little bit deeper. It's a deeper message. Maybe it's a change you need to do in life. Maybe it's the way you look towards yourself. You know, the way you reframe to yourself, the, you know, maybe it's love towards yourself. Maybe it's other people. But it's some type of message that is coming to tell you there's something over here for you that needs to change. Again, maybe reframe the way you look at yourself, at other people, at your relationship, at your job. Maybe you hate your job and it's telling you, okay, maybe it's time to do a change or stay in your job, but look at where it is that you do connect to your job, be more appreciative for different things. So understanding this, even though I said it 10 times, I'll say it 11, you must understand this in order to heal. Pain is your friend. Pain is here to give you a message. Like we say, when it's acute, go do the physical work. That's the first third. When it's chronic, do the physical, but then be on the emotional path, listen in, inside, just listen to something it is that you need to change or something that you know already for a long time. And maybe nothing will come up and you're telling yourself, yeah, yeah, nothing is coming up. That's fine. Just be aware that there's something over there that needs to change. Just that understanding will help you. And third, the cognitive, like I said, reframe, talk to your pain, give it a name, realize it's there to visit you, it's outside of you. And realize that that message can take this painful time and, and turn it into a purposeful time. And actually that message will help you to grow and help you get a better place in life. Now, to be honest with you, <laughs> I don't believe that it's something that, you know, you hear these stories that they reframed and that minute the pain left. No, I don't, don't think it takes a minute. Maybe some people, t it, it's really fast. Some people it's slower. I could share that with me, it's a process. With that said, it's, beautiful when it's a process and again i'm not looking to stay in the pain that's not that's not my point my point is when it's a process i appreciate more and i get more messages yes more message messages come up so maybe some of them will be talk from my heart you know connect from the heart some will be just more letting go and there are many different messages that come up now with the time there's also a danger that you need to like sometimes you'll say wow it's opportunity i want to connect and it's amazing, it's beautiful, and then you're kind of tying the pain to you because <laughs> you're telling yourself, I need the pain in order to get the messages. So let's stop. You don't need the pain in order to get the messages. And yes, the pain is your friend, and it's here to give you messages. And whenever it gives, the, whatever messages that you, that you get, that's amazing. The pain could continue. Don't be addicted to the pain in order to get those messages. That's kind of not that healthy, okay? So learn what it is you need to do whatever it is you want to change and just be in the process realize that it's not something that you do and you're done okay whatever it is that you that you want to change in life or need to change in life it's a process but you need to be aware of it and do it and just reframe like i said the pain to something that is friend friendly and it's here to help you and help you grow now like i said you could read more about the prt therapy and many different therapies but you'll need to do the work. Just hearing other people talk won't help. I could tell you that it helped me. I'm still in the process, but much, much better than, than where I was before. And you know, hopefully soon I'm also thinking about uh, just that way I put my mind also in what it could do. So I'm thinking about signing to a marathon in the Himalaya, in Nepal. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see if I do that. Uh, that's my plan for now. But my point is that I'm not ignoring what it is that I have now. I did the physical therapy for months. Uh, maybe even more and I'm still working now on the cognitive side and also being aware to changes I need to do in life and I'm giving you know I'm, I'm telling my mind I'm giving it that belief that yeah the body's strong it could do crazy stuff when it comes to physical and also emotional and it's a process and part of the process is that you know you're in a process a little bit more coffee and you discover the beauty along the way so the same thing with you Go treat your pain as your friend, listen to the message, and when you listen to that message with open mind, you'll see that slowly, when you go through all the three, through all the three, you'll understand that your pain, you won't only understand, you'll see that your pain could disappear slowly, and when you get that message, it could help you grow and turn your pain into your purpose, and also, if not your purpose, this your pain into something that creates for you a much much better life now it might be hard for you to hear now because you're saying wow i have crazy pain but yes go through these three steps 
understand where you need to focus more and where you need to focus less like a DJ you know sometimes you go forward back and see what is that message what is that friend coming to tell you in each one of those thirds and create a better life for yourself and for the people around you now if you connect to this video I'm sure you'll also connect to the next one I think it's down there or down there and just enjoy and if I can help with anything else, please let me know. Until then, have a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some tools to overcome your challenges and light your path. If you haven't yet, please smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, the most amazing things in life are the ones you take for granted.